you come across people who I've come across some people who would actually be quite scared of taking other people's suffering onto oneself. <laughs> um, not only that, you know, some people will believe, why should I even care? Why should I even take the suffering on me? But uh, others, even if they really want to, they will be so scared that, that you know, they fear the real suffering coming onto them. So in this respect, the Niguma practice of sort of transforming suffering by touching the crystal vajra is very uh, powerful. But the other thing that I found interesting is also doing Tonglen for oneself, no? self-love, yes. by visualizing yourself in front of you. <laughs> yeah, how, how has that come to be? Because I haven't come across this kind of Tonglen in any other traditions that I've uh, studied. Yes. Or, uh, and, um, you know, in the book, Ken McLeod originally translated from Jonggun Kontro Lodro Tai, he gives Naguma's Tonglen in there as well. And um, the Great Path of Awakening, I think it's translated the title as. But so Jaman Kontra Lodratai, you know, gave Nagumas Tonglen in there. Um, and he's, it starts like that. And that was our retreat instructions, the oral instructions from Naguma. So it's very profound. And this is the hardest thing for people to do in the West. The hardest thing of this whole practice is for people to do for themselves. And I firmly believe as a psychotherapist that, and what I've seen in students is that our love and compassion goes much deeper and we are able to eventually become much more compassionate for others if we can become compassionate for ourselves. But this is the most difficult part for people in the West. And true compassion for the self is extremely different, different than selfishness. It's a totally different thing. So mm -hmm. I usually kind of, I usually advise students to do at least three to six months self-compassion before they start doing the, the extensive practice for others. You know, so to spend most of the session on themselves and then uh, just part of the session for others. And that is so difficult for people. They really come up against a lot of resistance for it because it's like I said, it's just completely different than selfishness. It's very huge resistance. All the way people feel they're unworthy, they're um that judge themselves, they feel guilty, and all of these things. And my Buddhist teachers, all of them told us that guilt is a very destructive emotion and that we have to work through that and let go of it and doubt about yourself and all of these things. They're very particularly strong in the West. And as His Holiness Dalai Lama said, self-hatred is very, very strong in the West. And he didn't find that that was in the Tibetan people. And so there's a lot of strong psychological things in the West that um, make it very difficult for people to do this self-compassion. So I think these particular emotions are what block the Buddha nature from our self being able to get in contact with it. And so they have to be worked through in order to really authentically experience Buddha nature because a narcissism is closely related with um, not being able to experience the Buddha nature. And narcissism is related with selfishness and it's actually maybe too complicated to get involved with right now in this discussion, but insecurity and self-doubt are related with narcissism. It's, the, it's like you would think the opposite, mm -hmm. but somebody who's very insecure actually will often become narcissistic. It's the flip side of it. So this is a you know, quite mm -hmm. extensive discussion but these kinds of things like self-doubt, insecurity, self-hatred are extremely important to work through in terms of being authentically able to get in touch with one's true nature. So in terms of doing the Tonglen for oneself, this is very, very important. And so 
uh, Naguma, I think, saw all this in her enlightened um, perspective, her enlightened scene about, and obviously this was an issue back in India in a thousand, um, you know, the 11th century, you know, 10th, 11th century, or she wouldn't have seen this and, and put, put this in the practice. Mm -hmm. 